Good day. My name is Dr. Susan Akach. I'm specializing in public health medicine, currently doing my fourth year. Today, we are going to learn about James Lind and his journey into the history books of medicine. James Lind was a Scottish doctor who lived from 1716 to 1794. He was a pioneer in the field of hygiene within the Royal Navy. By conducting one of the first ever clinical trials, he developed a theory that citrus fruits such as lemons and oranges cured scurvy. Scurvy is a disease now known to be caused by vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C is also called ascorbic acid. But during the time when Dr. Lind was alive, the concept of vitamins was unknown. So what is vitamin C and why do we need it? Vitamin C is necessary for the maintenance of healthy connective tissue. The early symptoms of the deficiency include weakness, feeling tired, and having sore arms and legs. Without treatment, the deficiency will cause a decrease in red blood cells, cause one to have gum disease. There's also changes to the hair and bleeding from the skin may occur. As scurvy worsens, there can be poor wound healing, personality changes, and finally death is caused from an infection that cannot be controlled or bleeding. It takes at least a month of little to no vitamin C in the diet before symptoms occur. But as sea voyages often lasted much longer than a month, scurvy was common in the Navy. While Great Britain was at war with Spain in 1740, Commodore John Anson led a squadron of eight ships on a mission to disrupt or capture Spain's possessions in the Pacific. They returned to Britain in 1744 by way of China and thus completing a circumnavigation. You can see what a circumnavigation is on the slide and you can just imagine how long that must have taken. This voyage was notable for the horrific number of deaths that occurred. There were 1,854 men who left on the mission and only 188 of them survived. Most had probably died due to scurvy. According to Dr. Lind, scurvy caused more deaths in the British fleets than the war with the French and the Spaniards. Since antiquity in various parts of the world and since the 17th century in England, it had been known that citrus fruit had an antiscorbutic effect. Dr. John Woodell, who was an English military surgeon and lived towards the end of the 16th century and the beginning of the 17th century, recommended them. But despite this, their use did not become widespread. Although Dr. Lund was not the first to suggest citrus fruit as a cure for scurvy, he was the first to study their effect by a systematic experiment in 1747. His experiment is ranked as one of the first reported controlled clinical experiment in the history of medicine, particularly for its use of control groups. Dr. Lind thought that scurvy was due to putrefaction of the body which could be helped by acids. So he decided to include a dietary supplement of an acidic quality in the experiment. This experiment began two months at sea when the ship was afflicted with scurvy. So what did he do? He divided 12 scorbutic sailors, so those sailors who were already showing signs of the illness, into six groups of two. They all received the same diet, but in addition, group 1 was given 4 cups of ciders daily. Group 2 received 25 drops of sulfuric acid. Group 3 received 6 spoonfuls of vinegar. Group 4 had 1 cup of sea water. Group 5 received 2 oranges and 1 lemon. And the last group, a spicy paste 
plus a drink of barley water. The treatment group five stopped after six days when they ran out of fruit. But by that time, one sailor was fit for duty while the other had almost recovered. Apart from that, only group one also showed some effects of his treatment. And so we can see that Dr. Lind had a theory. He tested his theory by performing an experiment to prove whether he was correct or whether he was wrong. And this is the basis of clinical trials as we know them today. We have come to the end of the session. I hope you have enjoyed this introduction to the first ever clinical trial. Thank you and have a good day.